Hello, ladies and gentlemen, crypto deep divers. Welcome back to Weekly Crypto. Today, I'm going to talk about potential U.S. and China military conflict. And one of the things you should not hold. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you should not hold this. So, but uh, before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out the upcoming video. That could be time sensitive. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, library.tv, as well as Patreon. For my Patreon, uh, Crypto Die Master Patreon member, I post a uh, video about Tesla secrets. If you're interested, you can join my Patreon group. And I have a whole bunch of other videos as well. And about the coronavirus, and about and uh, also the geopolitical uh, tension and all these things. If you're interested, you can join the group. So let's talk about uh, the U.S. and China potential military conflict. <clears throat> so if uh, I think on July first uh, in Hong Kong, uh, they passed the national security law, and basically this law is uh, they can they they uh, they can extradite people back to China. Uh, anybody, uh, not only the Hong Kong residents, as well as uh, foreign nationals. If you are living in Hong Kong, if you are basically on the street saying uh, independence of Hong Kong or something like that, you probably will be got arrested and sent back to China, probably go to concentration camp because you violate the national security law. So the law is basically, um, uh, everything is in Chinese. We don't they don't even have an English version. And uh, it's kind of crazy. We're in the 20th century. And they are still uh, practicing like as if they are in, in the uh, 18th century, the barbaric, barbaric rule. But anyway, <clears throat> so uh, they want to take a firm hold of Hong Kong, basically. And uh, this is what they are trying to do. So since China strengthened the grip on Hong Kong, Taiwan is the next target. Because uh, China always want to take back Taiwan, and they consider Taiwan is part of uh, China, right? But the thing is, they have totally uh, different political system. In China, is a one-party, totalitarian, authoritarian, uh, ruthless regime. But in Taiwan, they have true democracy. Uh, the uh, she is the president of uh, Taiwan, and she is voted by the people. So they have a democratic uh, system. They vote their uh, uh, members of parliament. They vote them, uh, the presidents. Um, and, you know, I think U.S. is a little bit behind. Like a lot of countries, they already have a female uh, president already. But anyway, so, <clears throat> so right now, um, China, uh, they have a whole bunch of military, like show their military muscles, uh, basically uh, go to Taiwan airspace. They just want to show the military uh, muscles and all that. And um, and of course, this is a warning to Taiwan as well as to the U.S. because Taiwan and U.S. is the airline. And there's also a U U.S. and Taiwan uh, military exercise uh, to, uh, in Taiwan as well. So and don't forget in South China Sea, I talk about I talk about this probably back in March when I guess, you know, people, I think the mainstream media right now just focus on the virus and all that. They forget about the geopolitical tension. And this could potentially affect the stock market, crypto, and commodity as well. And uh, whatever the mainstream talk about, I don't really talk about those things. Uh, we have to uh, see ahead. We have to be ahead of the game, right? We cannot just like, hey, moment to moment. And uh, I suspect this video is potentially get banned or uh, I don't get any monetizations because this is a very sensitive subject at this time right now. Anything military conflict, China, US, stuff like that, it will be part of the Google um, algorithm saying that this is um, not suitable for advertising. So just like I talked about coronavirus back in February and March, uh, and I think back in January, uh, February and March when when nobody, no mainstream media talk about it, I talk about that, and all my monetization is uh, nothing because they don't like people talk about all that thing. So this is a, a Google censorship basically. But anyway, so let's go talk about this. So the thing is like, uh, there's the uh, US and China, there will be a potential military crime. I have been, I think I've talked about this and also there's a lot of uh, wars and uh, US warship were cruising along the South China Sea. And uh, I think three of them, three of them is around the area at this time right now. 
and um, and I think there's a lot of countries, a, a lot of countries object this law. I think over fifty countries, uh, uh, at least, I think, I think a lot of countries um, already Western country already are saying that this law is uh, is illegal, and they break the joint declaration between China and you uh, and the uh, Brit Britons, right? The Brit the British. The Brits are back in 1997, they signed a joint declaration. They will give this um, territory a 50 years autonomy. But right now, it's less than 50 years. I think it's 20 some years. They want to take it back right now. So um, in terms of international treaty, chi treaties, uh, China, they don't follow the rules. They follow their own rules. They don't, uh, whatever you sign with them in terms of international treaties, they don't honor. Uh, they lie. Uh, they lie you into the treaty, but they, they never fulfill the promise. So uh, this is not this is not on day one. It happens throughout history. So nobody should trust the communists. Only I think only the Western world is so naive trusting the communists. I guess. And of course, a uh, U.S. passed the uh, HK sanction. Um, uh, they some type of sanction um, because of the national security uh, law was passed, and. So one thing I'm I want to mention, I talked about that probably back in April or May about this already. Uh, but I just want to remind you guys: don't hold any Chinese stock, Alibaba, Tencent, uh, JD.com in Nasdaq. I think uh, JD, uh, Alibaba in Nasdaq. Also Baidu, Baidu also in Nasdaq as well. Don't hold any of this uh, Chinese stock. Not a financial advice. Use your due diligence. I'm just uh. This is this video is just for entertainment purposes. Okay, you should consult with your, with your financial planner. And I'm not responsible for any loss uh from this video. So anyway, so I'm just saying um because of the potential U.S. military uh U.S. and China military conflict, all this company may potentially get sanctioned. So you got to be very careful what are you investing in. And if you still remember a few months ago. Trump is saying that there will be uh, no, uh, no more, no more pension fund, especially from the U.S. government, to be invested in Chinese stock or Chinese related company. If you still remember that, that was a few months ago. They probably implement all that. Uh, should, they should they should probably implement by that by now. And <clears throat> that's that is an exit. It's a slowly exit of the U.S. Uh, U.S. Uh, the, those funds out of China, so you you got to be careful, okay? You don't want to be, uh, still in the game with the ch Chinese stock, so you got to be very very careful. And another thing I want to mention in terms of those Chinese stock listed in the exchange, uh, in the in the Nasdaq or whatever exchange, um, they do not follow the same accounting standard as the U.S. company, because the U the CCP lobby to Washington that they don't have to follow the same accounting rules or audit us in the same US company. So you are risking your capital investing in something potentially uh, insolvent or potentially they inflated their revenue, the sales and all that jazz to be listed on the stock exchange. I could be wrong. I mean, this is, I could be wrong as well. I could be wrong. Uh, not a financial advice once again. So just be very careful there in terms of Chinese stock. You should stay away for, uh, at this time right now. Um, I don't think it's a good idea to invest in uh, Chinese stock. I'm not saying those company uh, uh may be insolvent, but they may inflate their sales uh, portion and uh, potentially because of the U.S. and China military conflict, those company may get sanctioned and especially uh the high end technology sector those will be banned uh, from U.S. exporting to China. So that could be affected uh, overall. But just be careful out there. Um, not a financial advice once again. Let me know what you think about all this. Uh, the reason why I want to point this out is because, because of this potential geopolitical tension that will affect the stock market, crypto, as well as the commodity. So it doesn't matter I focus on one stock or focus on one crypto, which one is the which one is the most potential, uh, has the highest potential crypto get go to the moon, it doesn't matter. If the geopolitical tension going on, everything everything will go down, right? So uh, and right now crypto market bitcoin uh is linking is uh, still coupling 
with the stock market. If the stock market do well, Bitcoin do well. So there's no decoupling at this time. But in terms of gold and silver, it's already, you already see start decoupling. So even though the paper version, uh, I can't remember like how much right now, 1,007, maybe 1,077, something like that. But if you buy a real stuff, the, uh, the real stuff is more than that. Because uh, it used to be the spot price, uh, uh, the the pay uh, over the usually they were based on the paper price and uh, pay maybe thirty or fifty dollars over the spot price. But right now it's more than that. I think you have to pay hundred or even hundred fifty over the spot price. So there's already a decoupling already. So that was decoupling since probably March. Uh, if you notice, just like silver as well. So let me know what you think about all this, and um, I would love to hear from you. Do you have any? stock in uh, invested in Chinese stock like for example Baidu, Alibaba, uh, JD.com uh, comment below I would love to hear from you and if you find this video helpful or interesting smash the like button subscribe to my channel also share with your friends make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out the upcoming video that could be time sensitive also you can follow me on Twitter library.tv as well as Patreon and for my Patreon I will say more about <clears throat> I'll say more and more about uh, potential uh, some other uh, stuff like for example uh, coronavirus uh, more sensitive uh, information because right now if I say something in YouTube I <laughs> I will potentially get banned so I, I don't want to get banned so that's why I can't say too much even this video I may potentially get in trouble too so uh, comment below I would love to hear from you uh, join the join the movement okay Join the decentralized movement. Join, uh, join library.tv as well. And if you go to library.tv, um, you can click the link below and join the library.tv. You can also um, get library token just by watching the video. Unlike YouTube, they profit from you, right? Anyway, um, smash the like button, subscribe, share with your friends. Also comment below. That will help my ranking in YouTube. And remember, crypto deep divers. We the people take control of our money. Stay wise, stay safe, peace. I'm not your financial advisor. Investing in cryptocurrency, commodity, and stock market can have inherent business due diligence. And I'm not responsible for your um, any financial loss from this video or from all previous video or future videos. And also, this, inform uh, this video is only for entertainment and informational purpose and not a financial advice. Use your due diligence. Uh, you should consult with your financial planner. Peace out.